My name's Pete Woods, you're watching Hexham TV and I'm here on the seal in Hexham with Sophie and David. What are you doing here on the seal? Well, yeah. we're doing an archaeological survey using uh, geophysical methods um, to try and see what's under the ground up on the seal here. We don't know and we'll hopefully find out by the end of the day. Yeah. Where are you from? Yeah. From Newcastle University. David is from here and I am, actually it's difficult to say, I'm a German, I live in Switzerland and I was here for the last two years as a Marie Curie Fellow in Newcastle University. And um, are you connected with Hexham Abbey? Is that why you've started this geological survey? Uh, it's actually archaeology what we are doing and uh, this is one of my case studies for the, for the research project I was pursuing uh, during the Marie Curie Fellowship. So first we, I concentrated on the Abbey but now we are uh, going out on the seal and that very well fits with David's PhD so mm -hmm. we are joining forces. And um, how are you um, studying what's on the seal? How, what's, you know, with the, what equipment are you using? Well, we're using a, a, a technique called magnetometry, which measures um, magnetic responses beneath the surface of, of the Earth. Um, we can measure down to approximately two meters in depth. And what we're looking for is buried features that you might not be able to see on the surface. And the magnetometry is very good if you want to do large areas and get a first overview. And if we find special areas, it would be interesting to do more detailed studies. We come back with other methods. Mm -hmm. And yeah. have, um, so to do so, you're making a grid of the seal, is that right? And then... Yes. Um, yeah, we, we need to set out a grid to know where we are and to also uh, locate it with the GPR, uh, GPS and uh, then we, we work on that with the software yes, afterwards to put that together and make a picture to look at yeah yeah it, what we the magnetometer generates a, a series of numbers that can then be converted into graphic plots within uh, the software that we'll use back in the office and hopefully that will show up some uh, interesting archaeology we'll, we'll see yeah and in parallel we do a topographic survey so my colleague yesterday he was work, uh, walking across with the field and taking a lot of points to to create the whole shape and i was using the laser scan all around under the trees because he can't he got uh, he has no connection to the satellite there so that we, we add up these two uh, to to the topographic model and what sort of things could you expect to find at a location like the seal well, it's all speculative, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I, I got interested in the seal because I went down uh, to Canterbury and uh, near there is Liminge, a very uh, famous site. And there you have a monastery and next to it is also a very open space. And there was the King's Hall. They have been excavating that. And so I kind of thought it's the same situation. It's quite likely that something was here in prehistoric or medieval times, but maybe even in Roman times. So that's what people, I think, hope for. Yeah, yeah. We're just, it's very speculative. We can't, obviously the, the ground doesn't give much away on the surface. So we do need the subterranean methods to reveal what you can't see on the surface. And, and who knows, we'll, we'll have to interpret that when we get back to the office, but. Um, you know, let's yeah, hope it's something interesting. This area of photography, we, we saw already structures and we kind of compare that and then we exclude everything that is known from modern periods, from written sources, and then we, we are left with the things uh, that might be prehistoric, medieval, Roman, where we have no sources yet. Yeah, yeah we could be looking at multi-period activity on the site, but we just don't know yet. You know, it's, we'll, we'll find out, hopefully. And we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. this is the, the last day of this survey, but uh, and we are actually uh, presenting our results on the 21st of January here in, in Hexham Abbey uh, during the Hexham Abbey Secrets uh, series of talks. Sophie and David, thank you very much for talking to Hexham TV. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks. Okay, I think we can so you can you you finish uh, with the GPS. Yeah. And, uh, You're not telling me where to switch it. <laughs> <laughs>